Hi guys, Adam here from Dice Sublimation Supplies and today I've got another really quick how-to tutorial video for you. Um, now we've all been here and um, we've come to do some lovely 11 ounce mug presses in our Sacabo mug press and in, rather than having the 11 ounce press in we've maybe got the latte press uh, element in there. Okay, now it's a call I get quite a lot is how to change the elements on these things so I'm just going to run you through it. Obviously I've got the latte element in there at the moment. When you get the press chances are you'll have the um, 10 ounce um, uh, mug element in there, so obviously which just looks like this. Um, but obviously this works the same way of swapping this for the latte mug as it does in reverse. All right, so first things to do um, is make sure the power's off, um, you know, there's no cables, not plugged in. Um, and you want you to get yourself a Phillips head screwdriver. And if you have a look down here, the cord is actually held in place by a little sort of plastic um, hook. Now to get that off, you literally just put your screwdriver in and unscrew it. So I'm just going to do that for you now. There we go. And that whole thing will come away. Um, it's a bit fiddly, but there you have it. That's, that's the two bits there. The screw and the little plastic hook. Okay. Then what we want to do is we need to unscrew the little collar that plugs the heat element into the control box and then that should come away nice and easy obviously if you're pulling on and pulling on and pulling on it you've probably not loosened that off far enough and you don't want to be doing that because you, you could end up damaging your control box okay so um, to get the actual element out of the press what I tend to do is release all the pressure so turn this dial back and then it is as straightforward as these four thumb screws okay and they'll just come out Okay, so with your four screws out, just clamp the two metal bits together at the edge of the thing, and then the wrap will just slide out. The latte mug can be a little bit tight on that bit, but so you have it, that's the latte mug out. And here we have the element we want to put in, which is your 10 ounce, or your 11 ounce, sorry, um, latte mug wrap. Obviously, they're interchangeable so uh, just slide it back in so you basically go through the same process in the reverse order so now you will notice that it's, it's sort of it wants to kind of bow out a little bit but as you screw it in the, the screws will hold the metal plate flat so we just screw those back in And there we go. Now obviously you don't need to tighten these to the point where you'll never be able to get them undone again. Just, just finger tight will do on those. Um, and then to replace the cable, it's the same process again in reverse. So what I want to do is you want to plug it back into the control box. And then turn the little collar screw. That's it. And then thread the hook around the cable and then just found a position where the cable sits comfortably this is a fit this this now this is the fiddly bit That's it. then we just screw that all the way in and then you have it, it is as straightforward as that to change the elements on these mug presses. So they're brilliant if you've got a variety of products that you're looking to press. Just double check that it closes. Well, that's it from me today, guys. I hope that's answered some questions. Um, as I say, I know it comes up quite a bit in the office. Uh, if you've got any more questions about this mug press or any other presses that we do, um, you can get us on all the social media channels, which you can see at the bottom of the screen here, um, or obviously just email me at adam at diesublimationsupplies.co.uk and I'll do my best to answer any questions that you've got. All right, um, you can subscribe to the YouTube channel, clicking that little button up there. Um, that'll get you into all our upcoming videos, all the stuff we've already done. And as well, if you've got any videos that you want us to do, um, just drop us a line here. You can even comment in the section below and we'll get 
um, whatever you need to add it to the list. All right, guys. Well, thanks for listening. Happy sublimating. And I'll see you all again soon.